Hi, I'm Mel Pickup, Chief Executive of Bradford Teaching Hospitals, and welcome to this week's roundup of news from across the Trust. This week, I'm at Eccles Hill Community Hospital, because from May, this is where the Trust Haematology and Oncology Services will be based. Also today, we take a look behind the scenes at our brand new switchboard, and we mark an important anniversary. It's a year this week since the first lockdown started, and what a year it's been. But first, our Oncology and Haematology Day Case Unit and Outpatient Services will be moving from the BRI to a lovely new home at Eccles Hill Hospital. The move will mean that patients receiving chemotherapy will be treated in individual rooms. There'll also be more space for staff and lots of car parking. Here's Joe Hickey, General Manager for the Services, Caroline Butterfield, Ward 15 Day Unit Manager, and Sam Hunter, Project Lead, to explain more. Eccles Hill was identified as, as the space being big enough to accommodate our day unit facilities, our outpatient services, and also our teams who work collaboratively with the service. So when a patient now walks into this building, they will see immediately it's a fresh look, it's been fully decorated, then we've got new reception desks in, and we've had to obviously ensure that staff and patients are COVID secure, so we've got new screens at the reception desk. And then learning from challenges throughout the year, we've installed microphones. As we understand that there's a barrier with language, with masks and screens, it's very difficult to hear people. It's really important for our staff to have their own base uh, to work in. Uh, the team has been split now for the, for the last year, which we've found it quite challenging at, at times. We're all really excited about the move so we can all work together again um, as a team and just be under one roof. I look forward to seeing the services up and running from here in May. Now, have you ever wondered why your phone calls get picked up when you telephone the Trust? This week, we unveiled a newly revamped switchboard area to help us cater for more than the 2,000 inquiries that the Trust gets daily. We're also carrying out data and cabling upgrades as we start modernising our 35-year-old phone system. Here's Jenny Byron to tell us more. We're currently in the new refurbished switchboard and um, we're just really wanting to let people know that we do a new system in the summertime. So we are a really small team. We don't only take calls internally and externally for both BRI and St Luke's. We also deal with the cardiac arrest. Any 999 calls that are made within the hospital, we deal with them. We also monitor the medical Switch gas on. alarms. So I think the perception of a switchboard is the old cords where you move one call to another one. There was a time where we used a flatbed where calls were done just on that and then used the used books. Mm -hmm. Now we have 12 different phone lines that we answer and we look up numbers from the computer. There is so much to switchboard other than just answering a call, which we always do with a smile in our voice. Thanks, Jenny. The switchboard is definitely one of the beating hearts of our hospitals. Now it's time to pay a visit to the rest of the Trust to see what's been making the headlines. Well, the prof has become a very familiar face to us in and around Bradford and in these weekly videos, but I'm sure even he didn't expect to make a guest appearance in Oxford Street. Well, that's it for another week. Please remember to follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn, and don't forget our brand new Facebook page. We'll leave you today with images of colleagues observing a minute's silence. This week, to remember, a year on from the start of the first lockdown, all those who have lost their lives. Our buildings, like those across the city, will lit up too. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you again next week.